Hey guys, welcome to another video. This one will be unboxing the pun the Punch P300 2 channel. Um, this will be going in the Silverado. We'll be starting the uh, sound system portion of the build. I know it's been taking a couple years, but um, hopefully it'll work out. So if we open it up, here's the birth sheet. 405 watts at 2 ohms. Um, the amp has a couple of cool features, uh, how to set your gain, um, both from the radio and on the amp. And then here's the inside, we have a baggie with some screws and an Allen wrench. And the amp itself. And then there is also a setup desk, right on. Okay. I'm having to do this one-handed. Okay, here's the amp itself. Here it is. Power ground remote turn-ons. And then our... Um, day remote um, control. And we have our RCA. And then our two channels right there. I really, really love the heatsink design on this. And then punch. And then here's the back side. Alright, so now I'm taking the wrapping off. Use the little key here. Undid these screws. Should pop off this plate. Tighten down all of our connections. Set all of our gains. Uh, a crossover. So this is kind of a cool feature on the punch where if, you, if we look right here, the output clipping on the amp. Um, so first what we would do is we would set the clipping of the radio. Where we would tell is there's a little input clip light there. And then we would turn the knob on the our head unit till that turns red. Back it off just a little bit. And then, and then we know our max. Um, volume that we can go at and then we set our gains until that turns red and then back it off and then we know our amp um, is not clipping and that right there is the power indicator so that's just a really quick overview if you guys wanted the dimensions of the, of the amp it's on the back of the box there really quick all right, now guys, um, the reason I picked the punch versus I was originally gonna go with the Prime 500, run some Prime uh, Dual 10s and call it a day, but um, I did a quite a bit of research and the punch series just has better quality internals. So it's able to dissipate the heat better than the Primes can. Now this one here, price-wise, I got it at $120. It was on an auction site, well, it was on eBay and we auctioned for it and I was like, well, even though this is like 100, 150 watts less than a Prime at 120 bucks, I'm not losing anything by getting it. So we'll base the whole system around this, but I will run oversized wires. And we'll really set it up to, if we do need to upgrade it in the future, uh, with a different amp, it's already ready to go. So stay tuned. 